Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wolfworld63, and today we are back for another history video. And the subject of today's history video is none other than the than the protected cruiser of the Imperial Russian Navy, the Novik. Now, um, do you keep in mind that t this um, ship does have actually a pretty interesting history? Um, due to the fact of it holds probably the biggest, um, FU, um, in the Imperial Russian Navy's history. So, um, let's actually just hop right on into this, um, starting with the background of the Novik. Novik was ordered as a part of a program to bolster the, Ru the Russian Pacific Fleet, with a 3,000 ton class reconnaissance cruiser. Shipbuilders from the several countries offered designs and eventually the ger German builders um, Schutrich Werke, better known for its torpedo boats, was selected. The new cruiser was launched on the 2nd of August 19, uh, 1900 and her trials began on the 2nd of May, um, 1901. With initial vibration problems that were experienced with her screws, but testing was completed on the 23rd of April, 1902. With five test runs at an average speed of 25.08 knots. This made Novik one of the fastest cruisers in the world at the time, which was so in, which so impressed the Russian naval leadership that a near copy was made in the Russian um, Isimerd class. On the 15th of May, 1902, um, Novik was assigned to the Russian naval base at Kronstadt. Now, um, the ship itself does have a split history whenever it comes to its actual service life. Because it is actually split right down the middle. Um, between the Russians and then the Japanese. Um, this is due to the fact of a major, um, battle during the Russo-Japanese War that ended up causing this conflict. Um, to happen and the sides to be switched. Now, before we do get into that, um, I'm gonna run down the armaments, uh, or I'm gonna run down the ger general characteristics of the Novik. Now, the Russian Empire, um, name Novik, or, and ordered, um, 1898, shipbuilder, um, shipyards in Germany way down on way down in February of 1900 and launched in, uh, on the 2nd of August 1900 and was commissioned on the 3rd of May 1901 um, her fate for the Russian um, Empire was she was scuttled on the 20th of August 1904 now for the Empire of Japan Name Susia, yes, like some of you World of Warships Legends um, fanatics, the fire spammer of uh, the fire spammer of the Japanese fleet. Now, um, she was acquired by the Japanese as a mm, prize of war or a war prize in 1904 um, after a fatal incident that caused the scuttling um, in that in that um, May. Or in the on the or in the August of 1904, um, fate sold for scrap um, on the 1st of April 1913. Um, general characteristics all around: type protected cruiser or reconnaissance cruiser. Displacement: 3,080 long tons. Length 110 meters or 360 feet to 11 inches. Um, beam 
12, 12.2 meters or 40 feet. Draught, 5 meters or 16 feet and 5 inches. Installation power, 12 boilers, um, giving it um, 1,800 horse or 18,000 horsepower. Pulsion, three shafts, um, that, um, turned three trip, um, that were connected to three triple expansion steam engines. Speed, 30, uh, not, but 25 knots. Range, 5,000 nautical miles. Um, at, at, um, 10 knots. Um, 500 nautical miles at 20 knots. Um, complement of crew, 340. Armament as built. Um, 6, 120 millimeter, 4.7 inch guns. 6, 6, 47 millimeter, 1.9 inch guns. 2, 37 millimeter, 1.5 inch guns. 3, or 5, um, 381 millimeter, 15 inch torpedo tubes. As Susia. 2, 120 millimeter, 4.7 inch guns. 4, um, 76.2 millimeter, 3 inch guns. 6, 47 millimeter, 1.9 inch guns. And two um, 37 millimeter, 1.5 inch guns. Her armor consisted of a 50 millimeter deck, or two inch is of armor on the deck, and um, a 28 millimeter conning tower, or one inch um, control tower armor. Now, with that gone through, let's hop right on in to the service life during its Russian um, reign. Now, early career. On the 14th of September, 1902, Novik, uh, Novik departed Kronstadt for the, for the Pacific via the Kale Canal, stopping at Brest on the 5th of October. Um, the... Candidates, um, Naples and um, and Pearls, where she rendezvoused with the battleship em Imperator Nikolai. She departed Greece for the for Port Said on the 11th of December, but was forced to turn back due to severe weather, only transiting the Suez Canal on the 20th and 21st of December. Afterwards, she called on Jadad, um, Jadad, yeah, Jaha, Jada, um, I can't exactly pronounce that, it's up on screen. Um, Aiden, um, Cumbio, and Senate reaching Singapore on the 28th of February 1903. Molly, um, Molly Shanghai and finally arriving at Port Arthur on the 2nd of April 1903. She was assigned to accompany the cruiser um, Astrod to, to Japan from the 26th of 26th to 29th of May 1903 at a diplomatic mission convoying the Russian Minister of War um, Alki Kanpanton to Caleb and Nagasaki returning to Port Arthur from the 12th to 13th of June. She was then sent to Vladivostok after over, over overhaul and dry dock inspection from the 23rd of July. As with other ships in the Pacific Fleet, she received a new dark olive paint scheme. She returned to Port Arthur on in early September. Russia-Japanese War. N Novik suffered minor damage from a 8-inch shell for after she single-handedly pursued the attacking Japanese destroyers 
from nearly 30 miles or on the 9th of February 1904. After the battle, battle after the Battle of Port Arthur, no, Novik's commander, Captain Nikolai, yeah, Nikolai von Essen, was one of the few ships in the Russian-Japanese fleet to offer combat, and the only one to pursue the enemy closing to within 3,000 yards of the Japanese squadron to deliver a torpedo, without effect. Novik's damage required 9 days to repair. On the 10th of March, 1904, Admiral Makarov sortied in Nikola and Novik as his flagship from Port Arthur along with the cruiser Bayan to escort one of his destroyers. Then in hot combat with a Japanese destroyer just outside of the short battery range, after three attempts at withdrawing each time to within shore battery protection, Coupled with the arrival of Japanese armored cruisers, the Russian destroyer finally sank, and Makarov and Nikolik and Novik returned to Port Arthur. On the 13th of April, 1904, a similar incident occurred. The torpedo boat destroyer Steindan was fighting Japanese torpedo boat destroyers and it was in sinking condition. When the Japanese cruiser Bayan showed up, which quickly caused the enemy destroyers to leave the area, but the Bayan was also knew that but the Bayan also knew that the retreating Japanese destroyers were headed to their own armored cruisers. Bayan picked up some survivors then just outside of Port Arthur met the Admiral Makarov aboard his flagship um Petivostok, along with the cruisers St. Novik, um, Askold, and Diana, and the battleship Polbeta or Poltava, just uh, coming out of Port Arthur. Several minutes later, the flagship struck three mines just outside the entrance of Port Arthur and sank with a great loss of life. Great loss of life, including Admiral Mac Makarov. The fleet then returned to the safe confines of Port Arthur. On the 23rd of June, Nico Novik was assigned was again part of the unsuccessful attempt sortie with Port Arthur. The, this time under Makarov's successor, successor Admiral um, Loy <laughs> William. Um, Will Gem um, Vitgraft. On the 10th of um, August, the Russian fleet once more attempted to run the Japanese blockade of Port Arthur in the resulting Battle of the Yellow Sea. Most of the Russian ships returned to port, but did, several managed to escape to be interned in, in various neutral ports. Novik was slightly damaged by three hits and two crewmen were killed. Novik could reach the neutral German port of um, Kindal, however, choosing to void inter in, um, intermint um, Commander um, Mokiv Frederick von Solch chose to outrace its Japanese pursuers around the Japanese home islands towards Vladivostok, hoping to join with the Russian cruiser squadron based there. Novik was pursued by the Japanese cruiser to Toshima, which was later joined by Chostio, spotted by a Japanese transport ship while coaling in um, Sakon, Novik was trapped in Anvia Bay. And forced into battle, and forced into the battle of mm, Korskov by Toshi by the Toshima, realizing that he was hopelessly outgunned, and after sustaining five hits, th three of them under the waterline, von Schultz ordered Nico Novik scuttled, intending to make it salvation impossible. Service life, Japan. 
the Imperial Japanese Navy had been impressed with the speed of Novik, and despite the considerable damage inflicted during the Battle of Kurskov and the damage created by its own crew in attempting to scuttle the vessel, sent an engineering crew to salvage the vessel as a prize of war in August of 1905. The operation took almost a year to accomplish. The wreck was repaired at the Yoskov Naval Arsenal and, and commissioned in the Imperial Japanese Navy as Suzia on the 20th of August, 1906. Her new name came from the Suzia River and Koratov, near where Novik was captured. During the repair work, her original boilers were replaced by eight uh, Marbot boilers. Her three smokestacks were reduced to two. Her, la her lateral engines were removed and power input with reduced was reduced to 6,000 horsepower. Susia's bow and stern main guns were replaced with 120mm guns, and her four 120mm guns amidship were replaced by 76mm guns and two 37mm guns. All repairs were complete by the December of 1908, and she was officially designated as a aviso rather than a cruiser. Indeed, she served with the IJN primarily for high-speed reconnaissance and as a dispatch vessel. However, due to her battle damage and fewer, and fewer boilers, the repaired vessel could only attain a maximum speed of 19 knots as opposed to 25 knots in her original configuration. Furthermore, the development of wireless communications quickly made such uh, dispatch vessels obsolete. Susia was reclassified as a second-class coastal defense vessel on the 28th of August 1902, or 1912, and was declared obsolete and sold for scrap on the 1st of April, 1913. So, that is actually going to be bringing this, um, this episode, or this video to a close. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are interested in taking command of the Novik, you can actually find her in World of Warships Legends, where she is a Tier 1, um, Russian cruiser. You can, um, World of Warships is a free game to play. Feel free to go and, um, check that out. Um, I promise it is actually a pretty damn good game. Um, as you can probably see by the, um, repeat of the two of the match that was going during the, um, video. Now, um, I hope you guys all enjoyed, um... Please, if you did enjoy, please do go hit that subscribe button. Um, um, leave a like down below, as well as a comment uh, um, about any questions, concerns, or anything like that. Um, it is always grateful to come and see those, um, because that is interaction with the community. Um, if you guys haven't yet, please do go check out my Discord server. That is, as always, linked in the description below. Um, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel... Um, my cash app link is down below. Now, um, with that being said, again, I thank everybody for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.